Hi, this is Zach Cabria, and in today's video, I'll show you how to set up the customer portal. The customer portal is an amazing tool which allows your customers to log in, check their statements, pull PDF statements, view usage graphs, and pay bills online. In this demo, I will discuss how to add a logo to your customer portal, how to activate payments, setting up your workflow for requests or complaints, and lastly, setting up FAQs. First, you'll want to click on the search field and search by customer name or customer number. I'm going to search for Humphrey Bogart. Now, once you're in the customer page, click on the Details tab right next to Services. You will now want to scroll down to where you see Customer Portal and make sure that the Allow Access button is enabled. So you're going to click that and make sure that it says yes to turn it on. And then down here in Password, you'll want to go ahead and put in a password for the customer portal. So for this, I'm going to do something very easy and just call it Bogart. Once you're done with that, make sure you note the password down as you'll be using it later to log into the customer portal. And when you're done, go down and click Save Customer to save this. And then you, when it says confirmation, you are going to click OK to make sure that all of this information has been saved. Great. So now look back, go, go back here, and under general, you should see customer ID. So for me, it's 14709. So this is the customer ID for Humphrey Bogart within the system. So once again, note down or write down this um, customer ID number, as this will be used as the username when you log into the portal or when your customer logs into the portal. Cool. So I've got 14709 as the username and Bogard as my password. Next, we will be logging into the customer portal to see what it looks like before we have configured anything. To do this, first look up top and click the admin tab, which I'm sure you're quite familiar with. Now under miscellaneous, Select Customer Portal Settings. Cool, so now you should see here a few different sections. And um, the, here we've got Customer Portal Settings, Workflow Settings, and FAQ Page Editor. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and see what the Customer Portal, set, uh, portal looks like without any of this configured. So to do that, just look under the settings and click Go to Customer Portal, which is the yellow button right here. So I've automatically logged in because I've saved my password and my username, but for you, you should put in that customer ID I mentioned as well as the password you just configured. Great, so now you can see here up top we, where the company logo is, it's completely empty because we haven't put in anything yet and none of the rest of this is configured either. There's no workflow tickets and nothing works here. Okay, so that's just a quick look at what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go back here. And uh, we're going to actually go ahead and discuss all of these. So in this screen, you will see we, there are three main areas of interest. The customer portal settings, workflow settings, and the FAQ page editor right here. Let's tackle these areas one by one and see how to set them up. All right. Well, first, we want to deal with the company logo URL. So as you can see here, it says upload your logo to the web and paste the image URL here. Optimized image pixel ratio is 243 to 40 pixels. Pretty simple. So all you do is you have to upload the logo that you have and link that website to a blank field. For the purposes of this video, I'll just be copying the URL link for Google's logo as an example. So I've got a Google search for Google's logo and I'm just going to go ahead and copy the image address and go back here and pop that in like that. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go and click Save to make sure that's all done. Cool. So it's a success, portal setting save. So I know that the company logo will now be shown, hopefully. Cool. So great. Now underneath that, you will notice Pay Now URL field. This is where users should input their merchant URL, which easily allows customers to pay their bills. We're actually integrated with Braintree and PayPal. And if you're using these payment merchants, please watch our Setup Online Payments video, which will kind of show you how to set up Braintree with detailed steps. Otherwise, paste a URL for any payment merchant you might be using. 
So this is basically a form which allows you to, your customers to put in their credit card information and allows you the customers to pay quickly and easily themselves. So it's quite important and you do want to set something like this up ideally. So now that that section is over, look a little further down to the page, down the page to workflow settings. This section allows customers using the customer portal inter interface to lock complaints, provide feedback, advise on payments, as well as many other options. We will create a video in the future which will go into more detail regarding the workflow. This is very useful as it minimizes the need for customers to constantly call your call center for issues they might have. Instead, they can easily create a service ticket and keep track of their request thus increasing your internal efficiencies and saving you time and making you money. Cool, so now lastly, we've got the FAQ page editor. This is the area where users can create their own FAQs for customers. This page is HTML, so you can customize the page however you would like to. So feel free to call the services of a professional web designer. For this video, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste some of the FAQ questions from our own FAQ. I'm going to go, I've kind of set that all up in a, a notepad here. I'm just going to copy that and pop that in right here. So you're going to want to do that, the same thing for your own FAQs. And once you're done, look down here and click the blue button to save page. And you should see here, success. The content is saved successfully. So it is highly recommended that you make your FAQ as robust as possible. Like the benefits of properly leveraging the workflow settings, creating a useful FAQ will go a long way towards reducing the number of calls you experience, allowing your team to focus their time and energy on other tasks, leading to productivity increases and more profits. Yay. Awesome. So now, after setting everything up, Let's look and see what the customer portal looks like now. So go ahead and click the yellow button here again to open up the customer portal. And of course, you're going to put in the customer ID and password that you recorded previously. Once you enter these, you should now be in the customer portal. And as you can see here on the left hand side, we now have the Google logo, which has been pulled from the URL we put in. And on the bottom, we have all the workflow tickets. So if we add or change anything, they will show up here. And on the right, we can see the FAQ. Oh, wait, that's weird. The FAQ has not, oh, here we go. So to see the FAQ, just click down here and help an FAQ and it should all show up. So you can go ahead and mess around and see what you have here. We've got charges, services, everything like that. But the dashboard is really where you'll be spending your time. And of course, on the top right, if you do have set up the payment merchant, um, you just click that to log into Braintree and pay, that your customers can pay through that. Of course, if you haven't set it up, it won't quite work, but we really do recommend you do set that up. Cool. So now you're in, everything's been set up, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Your customers can log in themselves and choose whichever merchant they like, and it's, it's really easy for them to pay with their own credit card information. As mentioned before, for the purposes of this video, we are using Braintree and PayPal as they're integrated into our system. And if paying with them, the amount of money due for the bill will automatically be updated here in balance. Note that if you created a password for the customer's portal, it would be best to inform the customer once they have logged in and everything to change their password after the first time to something that's more secured for them. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is Zach Cabria, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating our software, as well as adding new videos and playlists to enhance your experience and help you learn our platform. We hope that you continue to subscribe to this list, as well as all our channels. Have a great day, and feel free to reach out if you're having any issues. Thanks.